Hello everyone, I'm Martin from MJ Hobby Corner and uh, welcome to my channel and for today Monday I want to give uh, another brief update and show uh, one of the new projects that I'm going to be involved in and um, I put a picture on the community tab and just showed this uh, ornithopter that I'm, I, I made today. It took me about one and a half, one hour close to two hours to make um, not bad really not bad time and I wanted something simple something that I can use in my fantasy games as a as an added unit or even a piece of terrain um, so I started making uh, this model and I hope to have more designs uh, different kinds of ornithopters maybe and also airships that's the other thing that this project's going to include so it's going to be airships and ornithopters for a fantasy setting and um i've always liked ornithopters i always liked the concept of the ornithopter in fantasy or even sci-fi i mean uh if we look at dune uh, there we see some really cool high-tech ornithopters uh, but this model was actually inspired not by Dune, but by uh, Magic the Gathering. A lot of the artifact creatures that are in the cards, you know, depicted by the artwork in the cards. And they even have some ornithopters for, uh, I believe it's the red deck in Magic the Gathering or the artifact deck. Well, one, maybe both. Um, but anyway, it... You know, it has a lot of these ornithopters and they're very simple looking and very kind of interesting, right? So I decided I would make my own. Now, this uh, model is going to need a little bit more work. It's going to need, I, I have some little cogs and things that I'm going to be uh, adding to it. So, uh, so it's going to need some detail, basically, a little bit more detail. So why don't we take a closer look at this model and... Uh, see uh just explore some of the concepts that i use to build it so for this project i use my cutters my wire cutters i also use this uh piece of uh craft stick just cut up just like that and some cocktail sticks a piece of uh plastic from an old cd case and uh, i'm thinking about using a, a gem or two Now to start uh, the ornithopter, this was the basic shape that I started with. Basically two cocktail sticks and you see the tip of the larger craft stick. And these are the really large ones and that's what I used. Now uh, little by little to that shape I began adding more and more uh, little cocktail sticks. I cut at least five different sizes of sticks to get all the different shapes I wanted. In addition to that, I cut some wider pieces of wood to add uh, to the fuselage. This gave me some pretty cool shapes. So uh, here is the uh, model with a little bit of spray paint added to it, some brown. Of course, this is not finished. I have to paint everything now. And I will be adding some more details, some little cog wheels. To give the illusion that there's some kind of clockwork component to this, you know, some kind of clockwork that uh, makes the wings move, etc., etc. But of course, there will be some magical influence here as well. So, uh, pretty cool. I, I just like um, the rustic feel to it, right? It's a very kind of a simple yet complex uh, little little uh, design so I, I, I'm happy with it but I will be working more in future models uh, just trying to come up with different designs and the cool thing is that I can take the ornithopter off of the little uh, flight stand and it could stand on its own so this way it could be a piece of terrain it could just be an objective I mean it could be any number of things so it, it that was one thing that I really wanted for the model is to be able to remove it from the flight stand if I want to. So I, I put the model. Uh, here is a uh, table that I'm setting up for Dragon Rampant. I'm going to be playing Dragon Rampant solo. And there is the uh, Ornithopter 
with the uh, other members of the army. So I'm giving it to the humans for right now. But I will have different ornithopters for the different races. So maybe goblins, orcs, dwarves, etc. All in all, it was a cool little project. So there we go. So this ornithopter uh, uses in some parts uh, techniques that I learned when I was building RC airplanes. I used to build simple park flyers out of balsa wood and so we would use a blueprint or a plan of the aircraft that I was building and then cut out all my pieces of wood. Uh, and they sell kits of wood that you can actually build for that purpose. And so you're building the aircraft from a, com from a complete skeleton and then uh, you have tissue paper that you, you usually put some a chemical on it that strengthens it and it, it's a very hazardous chemical. You want to work with it you know in a very well ventilated area but that's how you put your skin on the aircraft and then it makes a nice lightweight thing that then you can add whatever uh, motors you want to it etc etc or you can use it as sort of a just a glider right so making those aircraft that technique you uh using all those little uh wooden pieces to make the skeleton that's basically the idea that i used for this uh little model okay this is a lot easier <laughs> of course it's a lot easier so Speaking of that, uh, this model also utilized uh, a little bit of my howda building uh, experience that I've recently um, been putting a little bit of work into. And what is that all about? Well, I'm working on these little howdas or platforms that I can attach to my figures for uh, gaming. And these are modular things so I can remove them from the figures and uh, everything is remo removable so if I change my mind I don't like the way it looks or uh, maybe I don't want to use the figure the way I'm using it with the howda I can remove the howda and anything on it and that's it right so it's a very modular system I'm going to be talking more about that in the future but that's basically a sneak peek at that project so folks Thank you very much. I hope this gives you an idea of some of the stuff I'll be working on. I'm doing a lot of painting these days, a lot of assembling my models, painting, uh, working on my uh, pile of shame. And I have this nice 172 scale uh, couple of armies that I've set up. And that's what I'm going to be using this week to play some Dragon Rampant in addition to this new Ornithopter models. So... That project you will probably see some more ornithopters. I'll be doing videos that'll show you a little bit better the building process. So we'll just build one together. This was just a little sneak peek. And then we're gonna look at other things: war wagons, steam tanks, anything else that the imagination can muster. And uh, hopefully you'll see them in our games. Also, uh, for the month of February, we'll be putting up our polls again. Uh, and putting up a few games so that people can vote to see what you want Julie and I to face each other with for the month of February. All right, so you guys will decide the games that you want to see first, second, third, etc. All right, so the polls will be back up in February. All right, but for this week, I'll be doing a solo war game, and uh, Julie and I are going to be playing a duel of Weasel Tech Mech Combat. So stay tuned for that. All right, folks, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this little project as much as I did. We'll talk very soon and see you in my next solo war game.